A St. Edwards University police officer caught on camera shooting video of women in the dressing rooms of a popular department store at Martin Creek Square. That's topping KXA News at 6. Hello again. I'm Robert Hadlock. And I'm Leslie Rohde. And now police say there could be numerous victims who were recorded while trying to unclose and they never knew it. 23-year-old Brandon Jason Gilroy has been arrested now and police say he admitted going into Macy's dressing rooms to shoot the videos on his cell phone. KXAN's Carla Castaño joins us live now with more. Carla. Leslie Gilroy had been a police officer here at St. Edwards University for the last seven months. He resigned earlier today. Now Austin police are posting these flyers here at the university as well as the mall, hoping to hear from anyone who may have seen Gilroy act suspiciously or may have been recorded while changing their clothes. It makes me nervous. The arrest of former St. Edwards police officer Brandon Gilroy has left students and staff upset. Clearly very disturbing, a disturbing situation for the university. And it's raising several questions. I don't feel protected now. What if there are cameras in our dressing rooms or in our dorm rooms or in our showers? I wonder how did he get into women's dressing areas? When we walked into the juniors' fitting rooms at Macy's, there was no attendant. This is the same room where Gilroy is accused of propping his cell phone up against one of the shoes so that the camera lens was angled upward and shooting video of women changing. It's kind of scary, and I wonder what he's actually doing with those pictures. Austin police searched Gilroy's cell phone and computers. They found two videos of women changing. They were tipped off after a Macy's employee caught Gilroy on surveillance camera going into the fitting room on Tuesday. What's worse is police say he'd been seen entering the same fitting room on previous occasions. I mean, that's really creepy. It's very unsettling to think of a public setting like that. Something so personally invading could happen. And something that is some women rethinking how they shop. It might be easier to take clothes home and try them on there, bring them back if they don't fit. Yeah, I, I'd rather do that than have someone have personal access to my body. The charges also have some students questioning the screening process. It makes me think about the security about St. Ed since a policeman from here, he's supposed to be the one guiding the students and protecting us, and instead he's doing this. A St. Edwards University spokesperson told me Gilroy passed both a criminal and psychological background test. Once again, Austin police want to hear from anyone who may have seen Gilroy at Barton Creek Square Mall between January 28th and February 9th. Reporting live near St. Edwards University, Carla Castaño, KXAN, Austin News.